All right, thanks, Larko. And talking about racing, we can now show you practice with the V8 supercars on track yesterday. Nobody hit the wall, but plenty <laughs> found the runoff. And thankfully around here, there's lots of runoff. Oh, that was a big spin there for Tim Slade at turn 16 there, Matt. And the guy's just looking on. You can see the, the big slide and another big slide for Paul Morris exiting turn 14. The grip level at the place is very weird. When you go to a new circuit, it's hard to work that out. Todd Kelly off at the same spot into turn 16. It's a slow corner after that, very easy to do. Craig Lowndes, big moment and a big spin. Neil Crompton called it the Scandinavian flick. He was sideways one way and couldn't get back the other way. And then rear lock, rear wheels locked for Jamie Winkup at the end of the back straight into turn eight. It was a really traumatic day for Rick Kelly in the Jack Daniels Racing Commodore. He fires off the road here at turn three, flat spotted two tyres in the process and had a very unbalanced car with a lot of oversteer. There were four parts of practice yesterday, initially for the rookies and for those in the bottom 15 of the championship from last year. And here's an engine problem for Tim Slade in that Wilson Security Racing entry, a car fettled by Stone Brothers Racing. Now check this out, flying onto two wheels, Alex Davis in the Irwin Tool Stone Brothers Racing car. And that car looked very, very good yesterday and he drove it very well he was very quick very positive very happy at the end of the day team Vodafone certainly got off to a ripper start and uh, both their drivers making emphatic statements with their lap speed early in the weekend but the fastest man at the end of the day who did a great job in the Queensland Raceway test recently as the brothers Stone look on with Shane Van Gisberg and the young Kiwi did an outstanding job with a time of a low 58 Jamie Winkup had been the fastest man but they nicked the time from him because he shortcut the circuit.